Hope you're well and having a beautiful week so far. This morning was really, really nice. We were able to do our morning routine, go for a walk, get some fresh air, get our body moving. So that was beautiful. And then the past few hours, I have just had my nose in my laptop finishing up some work. And I actually uploaded a video this morning, but part of it didn't have music, which was a editing faux pas. For some reason, the music track didn't export with the video, so not sure why that happened, but I took it down and then re-uploaded, so that took a couple of hours that I wasn't expecting to spend on that, but that's okay. Say la vie, that happens. Um, and then I also, in, on a brighter note, I also finished reading The Secret Garden today, this morning, and it is absolutely my favorite book, to put it quite simply. I love this book. So I, I read it when I was younger. I don't remember the age that I read it, but it is an incredibly charming story. And it's definitely a children's classic novel, but as an adult, I still found it to be very interesting and captivating. And I just love the theming of it because of course I love nature and my garden. So just the theming throughout of the power and curiosity of a garden and the wonder of it all. And another huge theme within the book was your mindset and creating a healthy mind and nourishing it by filling it with beautiful thoughts. That was a huge theme of the book and I just absolutely agree with that perspective and musing. So I really, really loved this book and recommend it if you're looking for a very wholesome classic to read. Here's a cute, I love this edition by the way, it's super cute. And on the back it says, where you tend a rose, my lad, a thistle cannot grow, which is a quote from the book. But that was a beautiful experience reading that story. I'm so glad I took the time to do that. So that was great. And now I do have a bit more computer work, but I'm going to take a break from the laptop for a bit. And we are going to make some veggie chili, our first chili of the autumn season. And I'm so excited. I love chili. It's so good for leftovers. And we have a fun little twist to it because I was making my sourdough loaves yesterday and I thought it'd be so fun to do sour bread, sourdough bread bowls and we can put the chili within them if it works out okay. So I'm baking a jalapeno cheddar loaf currently and then we'll pop in our little mini loaves after that and then hopefully they'll be ready. For dinner so that's the plan and then a few other things I want to do today I want to make our fall bucket list you now we do every single season so we'll do that and brainstorm and we'll see what else we get up to I have a couple of home things as well I want to get done but excited to spend time together afternoon two of our loaves are finished we have our jalapeno cheddar loaf which is a full-size one smells so divine and then we have our little mini one that I want to use as a bread bowl which I've never attempted to make a bread bowl before so my plan is to cut a circle at the top 
pull it up and then try to scoop out as much of the bread as possible. Maybe I should look up a tutorial so that I don't make any errors, but we have another one in the oven currently, and then we'll have one more to go. And in the meantime, I ordered a shoe rack for under our little entryway. We don't have much of an entryway from the back door, but this is what we currently have, and we always have shoes here. So I ordered a little shoe rack that I'd love to set up so that we have a landing place. And I've also been contemplating about it more, the whole thought around wearing shoes in the house. I know that's a common precedent that people set for their home is no outside shoes in the house. You can wear your house slippers and whatnot, but no outside shoes. And I've never really thought about it much in the past and it hasn't really bothered me. But the more I think about it, the more appealing of an idea that sounds, because if you really think about it, it's a little unappealing. But let me know what you do and your thoughts about that. But regardless, it'll be a nice to have a storage option, little shoe rack situation. I'm so thankful it fits literally perfectly. That is great fit. I still need to tighten the screws, but I really want to get a screwdriver from the garage. But it's currently absolutely pouring outside, so I'm going to wait to do that once it slows down, and for now, it'll do us just fine. p.m. but it truly looks like it's 8 o'clock or 6 a.m. out there because it is so blustery and dark and rainy but honestly it is ideal chili cooking weather. of the candles in your glasses. Nice candle. Oh, that is beautiful. Thank you.
enjoying our afternoon latte. Brandon added some of the pumpkin spice syrup that we made. It's so delectable. I love that little touch of sweetness. But now I'm just wrapping up some work and I really want to work on our autumn bucket list, which I mentioned earlier. And this is a tradition around here, if you're unaware. At the beginning of each season, I love to make a list where we collect all of our ideas for different activities and ways to celebrate whatever season we're in. So we do this winter, spring, summer, and fall. And it's a really great way to gather all your thoughts and ideas. And if you ever have a night or a weekend coming up where you don't have anything planned and you're sort of wanting to brainstorm what to do, this is a great resource where you just have the collection of fun activities and you could figure out some way to celebrate the season. So I love to do this every year in every season so we are gonna reference our list from last year and then we'll add different touches and ideas as we go and another thing I want to work on is another tradition around here is we have a little bit of a celebration and gathering on the autumnal equinox so the first day of fall and this is and it is September 22nd so it's really coming up and I've been thinking about it and getting excited but it is creeping up on me and one idea that I had is to send actual invites. So it's going to be an intimate gathering. It always is. I personally thrive in more intimate gatherings. So since it's not, you know, a whole slew of invites, I was thinking it would be nice to send tangible invites. And I found these botanical sort of vintage inspired postcards. And I think they are rather beautiful. I'll go through them. So... I'm thinking of putting something together, some kind of like cute little poem or something and printing it out and mod podging it on the back of this so it's like more professional looking if that makes sense. And then I can put it in this envelope that came with the postcards and then send them off. So I want to work on that as well because that, that date is creeping up on us. I'm really excited and trying to find more inspiration so we can start brainstorming to really make it a special night. we came up with I'm sure we'll think of additional ideas and if you have any traditions or ideas yourself I would love to hear them but let's kick it off with an autumn picnic carve or paint a pumpkin visit a pumpkin patch pick a sunflower I always think of sunflowers as sort of a more autumnal flower cozy up by a bonfire bake a fall treat homemade apple cider roast pumpkin seeds thrift a cozy sweater go for a moonlight stroll, have an outdoor spooky movie night. And when I say spooky, I probably will watch Hocus Pocus or something, not actually super spooky. Read a seasonal book, which means some kind of book that takes place during the autumn season. Make homemade chili. We can cross that one off already. And do some DIY fall candles. So there we have it. Again, I'll make it a digital version so that you can have it easily accessible, but so excited to do all of these things almost dinner time so I'm gonna attempt to cut and carve out the bread bowls soon but first I want to make a little bit of a treat because tonight we're going to our friends for game night and I want to make 
candied almonds, but not just any candied almonds. So we're gonna make pumpkin spice candied almonds. And I found a recipe and apparently it only takes 15 minutes. So I'm gonna try to knock that out so we can take that and enjoy that later tonight. ended up not even playing any games just chatting the whole time which has happened numerous times it's like a tradition now it's like a habit we just plan game nights and just talk the whole time but it was sweet and now palmer he is sniffing us all over because we were cuddling with our friends dogs but thank you so much for spending the day with me i really hope you enjoyed today's vlog and i cannot wait to see you next bye bye say bye palmer